everyone. Welcome to a very last minute, but uh, very looked forward to, High Rollers Live here at PAX West. Thank you all for coming. I'm your Dungeon Master. Oh, thank you very much. I'm your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes. And today I am going to be taking a variety of players from our home game, Erois, along with some special guests, on a little planar adventure. Our first player joining me is Mr. Tom Hazel. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Nice <laughs> <laughs> Hello. See? Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh. Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. Yeah. How's it going? Good. Oh. Joining us, the first of our special guests, fantasy author Aaron M. Evans. <laughs> Take a seat. Ready to play some D and D? Yes. Excellent. Very excited. Uh, joining us, another Eroes regular, our good friend Katie Morrison. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. Hey, you good buddy. Good to go? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Our very last special guest, and I'm sure this man needs no introduction, rock star Nathan Sharp. Rock star. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. Hello, hello. You good? Aces, Mark. Aces. Aces. Oh, I love Aces. it. I love it. I love the positivity. Ready. So. Are you ready to play some Dungeons oh, and Dragons? Oh, yeah! Are you guys ready for some Dungeons and Dragons? Oh, yeah! That's what I like to hear. That's what? what I like Was to mine hear. not good enough? No. Oh. <laughs> Theirs is far, far better, Tom. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, before we get fully started, uh, we'll do some character introductions. Uh, but the one thing I wanted to, I did want to say before we get started is a big thank you to Idol Champions. They're the reason that we're here at PAX. Yeah. Uh, if you've not checked their game out, Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms, Please do so. Uh, they're the ones. Without them, we wouldn't be here. Yeah. So oh, big thank, thank you to you. those guys. Uh, absolutely. In terms of who we are playing, I thought I'd leave that for you guys to introduce yourselves. So why don't we start with Tom? OK. I am Tom, clearly one of the players. And I'm playing Kelek Ad-Kalar, who is a bird man, Arakokra. I may as well just say cleric at this point. Yes. Right? He's got one level in bard, but we'll call him a cleric. Uh, <laughs> he's got one wing. And uh, a little stormy eye. Something special is going on in there. But um, <laughs> yeah, he's meant to heal and support his allies. He doesn't. <laughs> and like every cleric in Dungeons and Dragons, yeah. then. Pretty and that's that's Quill. Quill for short. Okay, Aaron. Uh, I am. Oh, sorry. I'm no. playing Havilar, um, who is my character from the Brimstone Angels saga. Uh, she is a fighter. She's a glaive master. She's very good at uh, fighting monsters, which is why it is kind of garbage. She's not in idle, idle champions, she thinks. Oh. <laughs> uh, you can play her twin sister, who is, you know, okay at fighting. That's fine. It's fine. Uh, and she comes along with her uh, pet hellhound, Zuni. Nice. That will be a lot of Wait, hang on. I missed fun. that. What did you say? Don't worry. Katie, <laughs> what are you playing? It's fine. Pet, pet hellhound, you know, what could go wrong? She has a muzzle. It's fine. Oh, oh no. It's fine. I must okay. take it off. <laughs> um, I'm Katie. I am playing Ayla. She is a Path of the Storm Herald barbarian, so she's got some kind of lightning-type powers going on. Um, she's got a very massive war hammer, and, yeah, she's a delight. They she's a delight. She, she is. is. That's delight. all you need to know. Yeah. Nathan. Nate. Mm -hmm. Who yes. are you playing? Today, I will be playing the uh, wine-loving, fourth-wall-breaking, friendly neighborhood bar that goes hard, Mr. Paul and Seppa. <laughs> Everyone's nice. favorite. Yeah, I knew yeah. that. I, that's what the thing is. I knew that that would get a little, a little, yeah. <laughs> hey, I know him. So, we're just going to jump straight into it. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. Let's go. You feel a sudden lightness in your body and a lurching sensation as you are pulled backwards from wherever you are in whatever world you're in by an invisible force, and the world around you seems to shatter like glass. The movement is sudden and swift, and you watch your worlds flash before your eyes with incredible speed. And as quickly as this happens, the movement suddenly stops, and you find yourself on what you believe to be a ship's deck, staring out onto a silvery, misty sea. A dull, purple, hazy sky with clouds of thin gray mist drift lazily 
and between them you catch glimpses of twinkling stars, and in the distance you can see rolling, twisted black shapes that seem to connect the silvery sea to the infinite reaches of the starry sky above you. Some of you recognize each other. Ayla and Quill, you are pulled from the world of Erois. What's up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> but around you, you see two strangers, two people you have never seen before, not your regular traveling companions. Erin, uh, what does Havi look like? Uh, Havi is a tiefling. She is on the tall side. Uh, she has kind of dark uh, purplish black hair, um, kind of medium toned skin, and gold eyes. And she's got like a big honking glave. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, nice. and then He's Pol definitely out already. <laughs> <laughs> Just like whipped out straight this? away. <laughs> nice. And Paulton, what does Paulton look like, Nate? Uh, so Paulton is a human. Uh, he's got some medium length, really kind of like scraggly, unkempt hair, and uh, looks like he could is probably a bit overdue for a shave and a sleep. Okay. And uh, a bit warm. Yeah, a little bit. It, he's uh, he's looking tired. Okay. Yeah. Well. Uh, and yeah, you find yourselves on this, this deck of a strange looking ship. And as you kind of glance around and see each other, and, and for Havilar and Polton, you see two uh, people you've never seen before, um, which I forgot that the artwork is up there. But for the game purposes, you should probably describe Ayla and Quill as well. Uh, sure. Um, Ayla is sort of, um, she's pretty muscular. She is a wild elf, so she sort of looks a little bit Viking ish. She's got. Um, like fiery red hair, which has got loads of braids, um, and it's just kind of looking a little bit straggly, a little bit like unkempt. Um, she's got a huge, huge warhammer, and she's got a piece of tartan just tied onto her belt, and that's Ayla. Yeah, yep. yeah cool. and Quill is a brown feathered kind of hawk, eagle-like uh, face, uh, Aracocra. Um, he's got what looks like one arm tied behind his back. It's kind of obvious it ain't there, um, and He's covered in uh, like cartography equipment, compasses, not a spyglass anymore. Turns out I totally forgot I lost that. Yep. Um, long ago. Long, long ago. Far long ago. And he's probably currently. Uh, so we do. Do we recognise where we are? Uh, well, why? In th if, if for that case, cool. Why don't you make me an Arcana check? Oh, I Arcana. Try and figure out where you away. are. Sure. Because I will tell you now, all of you would recognise that this is. Nowhere you've ever seen before. This is not something that is familiar to you on the material plane. Whatever world you come from, this doesn't look to be a part of it. Right, okay. So give me an Arcana check. Arcana. Let's get Ooh. our first roll of the game That's up. a plus four. Here we go. Ready? Boom. Oh, okay. 14. 14. Yeah. You look around for a moment, and there is there's something bizarrely magical about the place. You don't see, looking around with your keen vision, you don't see any civilizations, you don't see any islands. Keen vision. Keen vision. I see everything. Mark. Well, <laughs> right now, you just see this silvery ocean and right. this weird purple sky. You are not certain which one, but you're definitely on a different plane of existence. And okay. the other thing you would notice, Quill, with an Arcana check and your such high passive perception, massive passive it's perception. Just 22. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you spot that all of you, including the two strangers, have a silvery cord that extends from between your shoulder blades, goes up about three or four inches, and then vanishes. It, like it fades away in, out of existence. And all four of, the, all four of you have the, the same cord coming out of your backs. Uh, Hi. <laughs> Ayla's immediately yeah. got the hammer like up. Yeah. Like. <laughs> so which one of you did this? She takes out the hammer, Paul, and she's just like, oh my god, hi. I loved you in Brave. You are amazing. <laughs> what? Yeah, and looks over and just like. <laughs> I think it was him. Just, he looks over at Quill just like. He's making jokes. It's I, definitely him. I loved you. I love you like with gravy and like potatoes. No, like, no. Oh. Off. <laughs> Off oh, limits. Right. Off limits. Actually, we get that a lot. We get that a ton. Yeah. Um, wait. So no. Hang on. Who did? Th which was it? You. You. He's this making jokes. Super not in my wheelhouse. <laughs> no. He's making okay. jokes. I think it's him. Me. What? Where are I we? Why did you bring us here? Well, you see, we are on what's called a uh, ship, and it is a vessel that is made to uh, transport goods and individuals. Well, this isn't our ship. We just came off of that ship. This is definitely not our ship. Definitely not. Where's Nova? Where's Lucius? Like, where? What? 
We're century. We're century. <laughs> You're saying well, all kinds of weird words right now. That sound. So this isn't your ship? Why are you not alarmed by this? Like, if, if you're just brought here like us, why are you not so... Man, it's, it's, been, it's been a rough few months. I've seen a lot of... Wait, what's, <laughs> what's the rating? I've seen a lot of poo-poo, doo-doo, crap. Shit. Shit. I've seen some shit, man. At, at a certain <laughs> point, you just go numb to it. <laughs> that was the one. That was the one we get. I that was the one. I took it. Sorry. Damn it. <laughs> Mine. So while they whilst <laughs> Ayler and, and Polton are kind of engaging in conversation, I think, uh, Harry, you hear uh, and you see out the corner of your eye a very, you kind of look on where you are. You kind of take a moment to kind of look on the, the ship itself. Whilst Quill is kind of figuring out, like looking at the stars and the ocean and everything else, you look back and you can see that you're on the deck of a ship or what you thought was a ship. But when you look further back, you kind of quickly realize that the ship is actually built on the back of a gargantuan spider. And its eight legs are kind oh, of shit. extended, and in between its legs are these great sails made of webs. And it, it, it just gently and slowly moves, but the webbing sails are filled with some sort of wind that is propelling it. And you can see that on the back of the, the giant spider, there are these great glass domes. And you can see scurrying around the, glo the domes and on the webs are these little spiders. But they're wearing little bow ties and hats. Oh my god, that's adorable. I have such uh. confusing urges right now, because like, I feel like I could probably chop some legs off, and I bet I could totally beat this thing. Do but I hear that? there's down there, and I don't know if I should. No, um, I didn't tell you guys that. I'm really good at this. Cool. But so, so it sounds like none of us did this. Question. Well, do you typically chop down the sails of the ship you're on? Because no, I just yeah. think about it. I mean, okay. plans for fighting this. Do you thing. ever act on those urges, though? Well, like if it starts trying to eat us, duh. Okay. Well, we kind of need those. Yeah. So maybe right. ships, maybe man. I hate ships. Ships suck. Do your boats? Always have spiders attached. Yes. To them? Wow, we don't do that. You say our our boats like we like we know where we are right I now. I mean, when I got here, you were well, here. So as far as I know, this is your boat. It's it's. This yeah. isn't our place. This is maybe his place. Probably his it place. It might be. Probably not your place. No. So whose place? <laughs> whose house? Uh, Here's like a scurrying uh, sound, like many legs crawling across wood. Um, and urging, kind of crawling up from the underside of the deck, a giant spider, large in size, a big, thick, bulbous body on its back, nice. with another little bow tie and hat. Um, and, but this one also has little cuffs around each of its eight legs. Um, and it kind of scurries up uh, and looks at you, and its little mandibles kind of click together. Its many eight eyes kind of spin around. Good evening, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh, it talks. It talks. Why wouldn't it, honestly, at this point? My name is Garcon. Uh, welcome to the stroke of midnight. Uh, thank you all for coming. I'm so glad that the lady's relic has worked and it, brought you here to us. It's like 2 p.m. Oh, my good man. No, 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 no. I'm afraid the time works a little differently here. Oh. Your little device might be a little out of sync. Is it always the stroke of midnight here? That's the name of the ship, my good bird. No, no, I mean... <laughs> 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 oh, my... Deepest apologies, I forgot to, my, where are my manners? And it extends one of its giant hairy legs down towards you. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm good, thanks. Oh, how terribly rude. Oh, hello there, my dear. Oh yes, very nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, be careful with that leg. No, no thank you. Oh my goodness, oh, perhaps my lady has made a mistake. What about you, my good man? Please, have some decorum. I, I take his leg, I'm just like, pleased to make your acquaintance, and I kiss it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, very Fancy. good. Oh, well, it's good to know that at least one of you has the appropriate manners. Um, well, my name is, as I said, my name is Garçon. Uh, if you wouldn't mind following me, I'll take you to the lady of the ship. Question, is my dog here? As in, are you asking the spider or Mark Humes, the dungeon master? That's a good question. <laughs> Let's ask the spider, that seems more entertaining. Oh, I'm afraid that if you had any traveling companions, I imagine that the spell would not have brought them with you. Do you have some means of summoning such a creature? <laughs> I do, I don't, I, yeah, I could do it. Oh, I well, need, there you go. I need some help. 
Uh, so you, you, the rest of you watch as, as Havilar utters these words. There's kind of a hissing, fizzling sound in the air, and then there's this tear, this kind of in space. Okay. And three creatures emerge out from it. The most notable one is a very large, very excited, muzzled hellhound that just comes bounding out and begins whipping its head around, sniffing, and kind of, and then it sees Havilar and bounds towards her and just kind of throws itself against her. That's <laughs> <Pearl. Best laughs> The two creatures following it are two imps, red-skinned, fat, pot-bellied, gross little devil baby imps uh, that fly through, and one of them is like, ah, oh, jeez, Havilar, really? This is a terrible place for us to go. Ah, oh, jeez, come on, blip. And then you see the other ones just like, hey, come on, what are you doing? We're, we, oh, don't tell me we're here. I didn't want to be here. Question, well, sorry, small, small, small round thing. Who, who is uh, this? Who by Asmodeus is this? This chick. <laughs> Maybe her name she has a badass big hammer thing. That I, I do like, have that, yes. You said like you besties. know where we are. Yeah, sh we'll talk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> where are we? Why then? You don't know where you are? No. You stupid mortals, you don't know nothing. It, they hey, really don't. It's you have one job. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Where are we? You're in the astral plane. You don't know where that is? No. It's is that, uh, like, good, I bad? Mean, it's kind of both. It's the realm of thoughts and dreams. Um, loads of stuff lives out here, and they've got these big ships that they fly around in, but it's uh, weird stuff lives up in here. We, we don't want to, it's gross. Also, really dangerous. Lots of monsters. Yes! Yeah, I thought you'd like that. Jeez. To be fair, that, that could be quite fun. Listen, but listen. If we're going to do it, like, it should at least be cool. Heavy, look, we brought the dog. Can we, can we get out of yeah, here? Yeah, go away. All right, uh, Don't this. ruin my fun. And then they just re like begin making their way back through the portal. That dog's good, right? Because that guy <laughs> thinks, he thinks I'm delicious, but that dog definitely knows I'm delicious. Yeah. yeah. So she doesn't need to eat. Okay. And I'd rather she didn't eat. Me? Because when a thing that doesn't supposed to eat eats, it's really gross. Okay. After. I want to. So pet don't worry. The dog. I don't want to clean up. You your want to pet the dog. You want to pet the hellhound. I want to pet the dog. Okay. <laughs> What's Zuni's general reaction? <laughs> uh, Zuni doesn't know you, and so she would definitely uh, growl and be uh, dripping. Uh, Flames. It begins can boiling I, out of its mouth. Can I attempt to handle an animal? Sure. Of course you can, Nate. Go ahead. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you take a couple of steps. The handout reads. You're kind of like reaching towards it. You know, Crocodile Dundee style, like, at a girl. And it gets close. <laughs> kind of low growl as you step another, take another few steps. <laughs> And then as you kind of reach to reach for the muzzle, just this kind of gout of flame begins <laughs> kind of Whoa. rushing out. Why don't you make a dex save for me? Sure. Seems to modify dex, cool. So, that is a 23. You managed to just kind of throw yourself out of the way. It's not a full blast of fire, but it's enough to kind of like cause you to like leap back but without getting burned. I just like kind of duck and it goes over me. I look back. She likes me. <laughs> Zuni, we don't flame people. <laughs> he might I, yet. I, I, I want one. I don't. <laughs> Can we get one? No. It's that's looking, that's no. super fun. It looks no. like Will. No. It's just looking at you. No. You can oh. bite her too. I mean, I get right? to her. She doesn't let well. other people bite her. Can uh, we get I'm a hellhound? Good ladies and gentlemen, if, if I may, I really must take you to see the mistress, if you don't mind, now that, now that you've been reunited with your pet. Yes. It's like, right, we have a two-hour plot to get to, so let's go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Well, the party is meant to start very soon, yes. Party. 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 Yeah. Yes. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, please follow me. Uh, and the giant spider turns, and its little cuffed legs begin scurrying along the deck, one of them kind of urging you on behind it. Okay. Party. Party. I feel like we don't really have a choice here, so sure, party. No? Party's yep, always go. the right choice. Yeah? Pre-game. <laughs> I, I, I don't go to parties. Let's, sure. 
It doesn't take long. The, you follow the spider across the giant deck, and there's no like mast or anything like that. The sails are all kind of between this gargantuan spider's legs. But the deck leads you to one of these large glass domes. Um, and inside, you are led through what appears to be a grand ballroom. You can see that circular tables have been set up. There are crystalline statues of a beautiful elven woman covered in webs and silks. Um, you can see that the tables have been etched with the symbols of moons and stars. Uh, great banners made of webbing have been like draped around like decorations. But the spider leads you through that ballroom and up into a very stately bedroom. Uh, you can see that a large crystalline bed has been erected. Huge plush pillows have been decorated around. But the room is massive. Oh. It's for a huge creature. What it's a, that kind of party. Yeah, it's that kind of party. What's what kind of party? <laughs> I mean, so carry on. <laughs> <laughs> the spider opens up one of the doors and kind of stepping through into this large bedroom is you see the giant spider-like legs first, but pulling through a spider with the upper half of an elegant looking woman dressed in this long silk gown, almost like a ball gown that covers the enormous spider body beneath her. She has onyx black skin with white hair decorated with crystalline spiders, um, and she looks down at you with pale lavender eyes. Ah, sacred blue, my gifts have arrived. Love it, more of that. <laughs> but, but, are your guests for what? Oh, my apologies, my good bud man. Uh, I have brought you here to help me with my party, yes? Sorry, we're going to have to repeat that one again. <laughs> but, but you to help with the party. <laughs> Sorry, I forget that some of you material plane creatures are a little simple. I have brought you here <laughs> to help with my party. Oh, Said, thank you. Oh, We're you here are so to help sweet. with the party. Well, when you use the H's, then I can understand what the sentence is. Um, so, what... Help. Giant Party. spider woman like lean looms down. Okay. <laughs> I'm like between a hellhound and a giant spider at this point. <laughs> Chicken's on the menu. <laughs> nice. Ugh. My name is Lady Dasquilla. I am the uh, captain of the ship, the stroke of midnight, and I'm having a most wonderful party this evening, but I need some you said it was Dusk Willow? Lady Help. Dusk Willow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, look at you all. Aren't you so wonderful? D oh, I'm so pleased that the relic brought such fine mortals to me. Okay, two questions. So we're not guests of the party. We're like assistants? Yes. And second, what relic? Oh, it is called the Orb of Needs. I have a third question. By all means, my little pretty elf. Uh, why? Oh, well, you see, I don't quite control who the relic, who the orb summons. I merely give it a task, and it finds the most suitable life forms in the multiverse and brings them to me. What's the task? Oh, we'll get to that soon, my little tiefling, Sherry. I say, I say, I'm just like, oh, that, that's perfect. I, I have my orb of mead right here if you'd like some. I am quite fine, thank you. <laughs> Please. I do not sully myself with your little planar drinks, your material plain drinks. So I make my might, own. They might have better. Oh, I have much more elegant affair. If you would like uh, the alcohol, I will have something special brewed for you, yes? That sounds like a fantastic idea. He just looks like... Nothing can I, go wrong. I, I love you. <laughs> oh. Oh. What a handsome little man. To answer your question earlier, the relic, it is called the Orb of Needs. I found it long ago in the wild space. And you, I state a purpose, and then it finds unique individuals and summons them to the astral plane via astral projection. And you think, or the Orb thinks, that us four are the best for the task. <laughs> that is what it seems, my little bird friend. Are we killed monsters. something. Oh, no, 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 no. There will not be any killing. Well, why am I the most suitable person for the job? I'm I very I do not confused. know, my dear. I do not know, I'm afraid. <gasps> but anyway, to the task at hand. I am having a little gathering with many of my planar friends from all across the multiverse, from the Nine Hells, the Abyss, Mount Celestia, all over the place. Mm -hmm. But ah, how do I put this? They have the suspicion, you know? They are... They do not trust me and my little friends. And she gestures to all the spiders and 
things around her ship. Well, I mean, you are just plucking them out of their usual day. Oh, no, no, I've invited them. Oh. <laughs> oh they, have, they have been invited. <laughs> and I so what I need is unassuming little mortals who they will not think that you are up to anything. They will not think much of you at all. I get on really well with people. Yeah. Even better, you will blend in with some of the abyssal ones, I'm sure. Oh, this is such fun. But anyway, I have three tasks that I need you to complete. And then, not only will I send you on, but I will give you a boon, whatever you want. Wow. I will make sure I will try and provide it. What kind of party is this? It's a little gathering, there will be canapes, perhaps a little dancing, a little mingling. Nothing too crazy. This should be just easy work for us. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, the three tasks that I need you to complete, uh, they're quite simple. I need you to keep the gift Yankee and get Zera ambassadors from killing each other. I'm going to need to hear that again. Oh, <laughs> the gift Yankee and get Zera ambassadors from killing each other. They are very, they're mortal enemies. How silly of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm so glad you are in good spirits, my little dear, my cherie. Okay. The other one I need you to perform is there is a... Mm, a devil who is coming. His name is Jasimir. He works for Mammon. He's the ruler of the third hell or something. I do not know. Doesn't sound important. But I need to find out what, what is going on. He's up to something. I need to figure it out. Something involving Mammon and another lord of hell called Bell. Figure it out. You'll, you'll think of something. Hells. Bells. Get it. You're so funny. What a funny little bird, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing that again. We are not doing that again. Um. <laughs> Last task, I promise, is very simple. A, uh, a, uh, an angel, an archon called Eremanthia is coming. She is a little, little puzzle box, you know? She is a little secret. I want to know what is, uh, what is her most desire, what she wants the most in the world. So I can provide it. I'm on that one. Oh, perfect. I knew I could rely on such a handsome man. Mm -hmm. How you accomplish this, I do not mind. The only restriction I have is please do not be attacking my guests. They're very powerful. They're very dangerous. But also, it's, I don't want to clean up all the mess. Your mess. Cleaning does suck. Yeah. Yes. Well, what if the GIF Yankee and the... Uh, <laughs> other one. What if they start fighting? Do we then... Well, your job will be to prevent them. Oh, easy. We'll just keep a barrier between them at all times, right? Yes, escort them around, keep them entertained, make sure that they are not getting too yeah. frisky, you know. Sure. Sh frisky. Sure. 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 Easy. Help yourself to my laboratory. I'm quite the alchemist. You are welcome to concoct yourself your own little potions, if you wish. Or if you want to try and make something unique, you can do that too. Uh, but the party will be starting soon, and I need you to chop, chop. Okay. Chop, chop, chop. Now, any questions before yes. we go? So many, but I don't think <laughs> we're going to get through them all. So, <laughs> so it, it, the details about payment were a little vague? That, yes. Well, what do you want? A lot. <laughs> then I can probably provide it. All right. I've been traveling the Astro Sea for centuries, my dear. I'm a very powerful druid. I can probably make something for you or find something for you if you want. A little magic trinket, a little boon, uh, boost your whatever you want. You know, gold. If you want gold, I give you gold. Whatever you want. I do like whatever I want. <laughs> and if you want, you can always stay here with me. Do you want to Wait, no, this sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it, Nate. <laughs> A giant bulbous spider body kind of like perched on the bed. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> just a reminder. Falling with his orb of me is just like, nice. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? What about you, my dear? I think your orb is broken. Um, because no, no, you no, didn't no. say a single thing I'm good at. Maybe you meant I have a twin. Maybe you meant the twin. 
because she's the talker? No, I'm no, sure that the orb has made no mistake, my dear. What happens if we fail at this? Well, that is a very good question. <laughs> you are very clever. Well, it's not my fault. You must understand it is the orb itself. If you do not fulfill the conditions that I have summoned you with and you go back home because you are destroyed or something like that. Uh, I'm sorry, reverse. There will be... No, no, just, we'll just go, go back to We'll get back, we'll get back to that. We'll um, get back to it. We'll get back to it. <laughs> sure. If you go back to your home world without me giving you the okay, then mm, curses, a lifetime of suffering, pain. That is just the way the orb works, I'm afraid. But it's a very simple matter. You won't need to do that much. What the orb sucks. What, what if somebody, and I'm just saying, somebody um, yes. smashed the orb with a giant hammer? Does that still apply? Ooh, hey. I do not know. It's a very powerful artifact. Who knows what could happen? Now, for I all felt like that was a very targeted thing. I would never. I might. I might. Do it. Yeah, for I all might. intents and purposes, um, could we get something in writing that lists us rather than a... Uh, team, perhaps as four independent contractors. Of you know, course. just in case yes. somebody yeah. decides to smash an orb with a hammer and the other I party members never. don't consent. I might. Of course, my dear. Thank we'll you. treat you separate. Thank you. I, I, have, a, I have a standard uh, contract. I oh, usually you have You don't need to worry about okay, that. Okay, great. Perfect. We'll deal with that later. Okay, sure. That's it's fine. Me and Ayla, we're kind of like a package deal. No, uh, no, 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 no. You can treat us individually for payment. What? Reasons, that's fine. No, I mean with with a team. <laughs> oh, great, brilliant. Um, any more questions? The party will be starting very soon. Is there anyone from where we're from here? Maybe. I do not know. Maybe. I do not know where you are from, unfortunately. Oh. I do not know uh, all the worlds out there. All the worlds. Uh, I think. I think we're good to go. I Let's suppose. get it over with. Well, I tell you what. I do you a couple of little favors. You claim that you are not so good at the talking, yes? Mm -hmm. Well, and then she's going to reach down one of her large spider legs <laughs> and touch you on the top of the head. All right. And she's like, <gasps> and as it touches you, you kind of feel like some of your garments begin to change. Uh, beautiful jewelry kind of appears around your neck. Your, your outfit changes into a very elegant gown, a beautiful kind of dress. And she's going to enhance your charisma, giving you advantage on charisma oh. checks for an hour. Well, that's Ooh. handy. Wow. Also, apparently I look banging now. <laughs> I'm gonna try so I'm gonna like try a couple of little moves to glade, make yeah. sure that it, it like stretches I got and moves as you need it to, cool. so yeah. Will you be providing any other tools for assistance? You have access to my laboratory, which is very well stocked. You can make your own potions. You can do all sorts of crazy things with them. Okay. Um, no, that is the one thing I'm going to give you. Cool. <laughs> but she got a whole she new got a thing. She's the nice one. <laughs> <laughs> you had a good laugh. And this one clearly needs no help with that. He's very handsome. Right. So maybe this one did need the help, but I don't know. I like this one better. Don't you dare make me look like that. Okay, no problem then. I'm also pretty good looking for a bird. <laughs> <laughs> the hellhound is still <laughs> looking at you, like drool coming down Do of its you mean mouth, like in sizzling. A, in a menu sense, or...? All right, next question. <laughs> no more questions. I need to go prepare for my guests. Ah. Pick on my little cherries. I will see you later. I'm so excited. <laughs> so are we. No. <laughs> and then you are ushered. This is <laughs> awful. Yeah, this is pretty terrible. I can't talk to people. People don't like me. This is one of the easiest jobs I've ever heard do you in my just, life. What are you talking about? Do you want to just cool dig that three. then? Oh, no. Go. we can. I'm happy to divvy these out. Um, I've already got dibs on figuring out what an angel woman wants. So um, okay. the other two. I feel like yourselves. you're gonna just yeah you're gonna enjoy crush that it. too much. Gonna crush it. Yeah. It's gonna well, be in great. terms of uh, Jasmine, he's up to something, and we're really good at trusting people. Brickstone. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell who the people that watch High Rollers regularly are yeah. in the audience because like, there was uh, a big snickering going on. Uh, so maybe we could do that one, or we're good at stopping people from fighting us. That might be the one that I'm better at. To what be if we just all three do the other two? Cause I yeah. definitely sure. don't know. Sure. Or is it a case that we need to watch out for what this guy does with the angel? I'm Pick trying to get the tips. job done, is what I'm trying to do. Oh, we no, no, we are too, but um, you don't understand. People really, I don't get on well with people. They don't like me. I don't know why. I'm a delight. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, great. 
Well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do my job and let me know how the rest goes. And I would like to just find my way to, yeah. if there's like a kitchen. Well, Garcon, the awakened spider, is outside. Ah, oh, I'm glad that your chat went well. Would you like me to escort you to the ballroom? Oh, absolutely. Of course, my sir. Good man. Oh, marvelous. Do we want to get any potions from the laboratory? Because yes. I feel like I'm going to make something explode if I touch them. Probably. I don't know how to make potions. No, no, but it could oh, be quite amusing. Do you know how to make potions? I have absolutely no. I mean, I assume it's just like, and then something happens. So yeah, I can do that. Yeah, definitely do that. <laughs> Would you like to go to the laboratory? We may as well have a look. There yeah. might be something else there for us. Okay. Other sure. than potions. Okay. Maybe, possibly, please. Oh, I want to ask Garson <laughs> something yeah. first. Of course. Like I. I just came from a different job straight away, so I didn't have time to uh, get party attire ready. Is there like any kind of wardrobe situation? We have an abundance of tiny bow ties and hats for the spiders. <laughs> yes. That's fine. I could provide one of those if you wish. I'll take a. a Cu I have a few spare cuffs for. Ah, you. yes, cuffs. Of cuffs course, yes. Good. Well, we'll stop by my wardrobe first. Great. Perfect. Excellent. Absolutely. Uh, to speed things, so. Polton is taken to, you're kind of led through this beautiful art deco ship interior, but you go down and it becomes like little tunnels of webs and clusters of spider pods. Okay. And you are led into a large cavernous pulpy organic room, but there is a single coat stand with eight pairs of cuffs, cool. a hat and a bow tie. Great. Help yourself, my good man. How big are they? Are they massive? Like, okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna like, I'll I'll put I'll put the hat on. I'll the put hat the is on. comically large that it just rests like down past your <laughs> eyes. Okay. Well, I, I can I can make that work. Uh, okay. You have o oversized top hat. You can add it to your inventory if you want. Oh, thank you. I'm trying to see if there's anything I could do with that. Probably not. Okay. Um, <laughs> what about the bow tie? The bow tie, you can wear it. It will be comically huge. Okay. Because it's small and dainty Excellent. and very elegant on the spider. On you, it'd be like a big canon, you know, comedy clown's bow tie. Okay, I'll pass on the bow tie. And okay. How, how big are the, the cuffs? Well, the spider's legs are probably about this wide. So maybe around the neck. <laughs> just one. <laughs> All right, I'll just, I'll just grab it and I'll figure it out later. Okay, okay. You just take a bunch of stuff, yeah, mm -hmm. and you can go figure it out. Great. Those of you who go to the laboratory, before you meet the guests, uh, the, the Stroke of Midnight's laboratory is a very elegantly well laid out uh, alchemical lab. You can see all sorts of vials and ingredients, bags of things, frog's legs, pinches of sulfur, all sorts of weird stuff. Um, and here, you can try, you can either make any kind of potion that you can think of from, from the Dungeon Master's Guide, or you can try and make a unique potion that has an effect you get to choose. But how well it will perform depends on how well you do in dice rolling. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Have you watched Nova make any potions before? No. No, me neither. So, have you watched anyone make potions before? No. I watched no? her just now say, oh, I think this is what you do. That's, that's, that's the pouring of imaginary potion bottles is like... I mean, this is a home or destroyed situation. That's literally what the spider <coughs> said. So maybe we just make a potion and just see what happens anyway. Sure. Yeah? You, you go for it. What do we do? We make a potion so that the two gift guys... Like oh, you want to give it friends. to someone else? I don't know, maybe. Oh, maybe we can try to make a love potion. So, <gasps> like, what would these ingredients, what sparks love for you? Frog's legs? No. Uh, there's an actual heart here. Yeah, it's That's a heart sure. of a little sprite. Plausible. That's a little, heart. a little sprite as well. That's pure love, right? <laughs> so, love. Glitter. Have we got any glitter? You can find some glitter in the ingredients, sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, dog's tears. Um, no, it doesn't say love to me. Uh, cat nails. What do you love and how does it make you feel? Hitting people with a big hammer. How does it make you feel? <laughs> like a badass. So we want to put blood in this potion? You can put blood in there? That, what kind of blood? Yes. I'll, I can zap it with a little bit of lightning. You want angel blood? <gasps> a spark. Ooh. <laughs> 
You want to try and make this potion? Uh, pixie heart, glitter, blood with a spark in it. Okay. I will let you roll this with advantage, because that's very creative thinking. Ooh. Make an intelligence. Okay. And it's straight intelligence. intelligence. Straight intelligence. Oh, yes. cool. Plus one. Yep. Okay. So <laughs> with advantage. With I'm advantage. One, okay, so here yeah. we go. You are the <laughs> nicest DM. With advantage. With advantage. So another one. Oh. 16. 16. Hey, nice. 16. Okay. Nice. So the potion is a complete success. It oh. achieves exactly the desired effect of a love potion, but it does have a mild <laughs> side effect, which you can tell me what it is. Uh, the mild side effect is they desperately hate each other the moment the party's finished. Okay. <laughs> like warlike hate. Yep. I mean. You just let. Players do stuff. <laughs> this is a Mark Welcome Hughes to my one shot. This is huh. this is what Mark's brain does. Ah? With one shots. Ah? Ah? You like? I mean, yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> so you've made your potion. <laughs> love potion. You have a love potion. Um, love hate. You can write that down. Uh, and then you are all escorted. Uh, Polton with his new hat that is kind of jaunty angled, I guess. What I wanted to s ask if I could do. Yeah. Is can I? put the, the little cuffs on yep. and cast animate objects so that they can like tighten themselves and they just like fold to fit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, can, you cast animate objects. Mm -hmm. The cuffs, uh, you could also put it on the hacks. I think you can do up to like eight objects or something like that. Mm -hmm. So you can have the hat and then the cuffs. Um, yeah, they'll animate. They, they can shrink themselves up, but they can also just hold themselves in place. Sweet. So they're just like comically large, but they're in place. Or you can have them rolled up and fold yeah, themselves I want, up. Yeah, I want them to like fold Look themselves good. up. Look good. And then yeah. the hat will basically keep itself. So it's very large, but it stays the Great, so I thing. can see. But remember, cool. that's a concentration spell. Right. Uh. And definitely... <laughs> I'll remember, don't worry. Definitely worth a fifth level slot. <laughs> <laughs> <So my laughs> that's a great use of a fifth level. <laughs> just so that my cuffs can fit. Yeah. This is for a this is how time. <laughs> this is how we balance out me being twice the level. Is I just wasted on dumb yeah. like twice this. the level. He's level twelve. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Colton's he said level to me, twelve. <laughs> said to me earlier, what level are you? I'm like, oh, six. So you're only double Wait, our Mark, level. Mark, we're level six. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fine. He can do his own thing. He's he's good. He's really famous and cool, and I like Nate the most. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> this is the best game ever. I love Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> so. You are taken down into the grand ballroom that you passed through earlier, and you can see that there are a variety of very weird characters down here. Um, you see off in the corner attempting to speak, uh, uh, chatting to various guests and things like that, you see um, uh, an incubus, a male uh, succubus, basically. Red skin, horns, uh, wings, and a tail, um, lounging around, big open shirt, chest hair kind of poking out, uh, tight leather pants, um, and he's just kind of walking around with a drink, like kind of like winking and smiling at everybody. Uh, you can see there is an angelic woman uh, blue-skinned with a single kind of long braid of white hair that falls down her back, uh, ornate armor, big feathery wings, um, great sword on a side scabbard, and she's just kind of walking around, and she's huge. She's like nine feet tall. Okay, the first guy, you said tight leather pants. Is that pants or pants? Pants. Okay. Trousers. 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 Okay, cool. For an American, <laughs> it's just, just for us three. Just, just for, for us you guys. Three. Okay. Uh, you also see uh, two very similar looking creatures, but they're dressed differently. They have this kind of yellowy, mottled skin, no noses, and then long, e elongated ears. One is wearing armor and like a military uniform, and the other one is wearing more priestly robes, and they're on opposite sides of the room, just glaring at each other. Okay. I you think also we see, uh, as just other guests uh, that are mingling around, you see a clockwork, Pentadrone, basically like this single shape with these different six or seven, I can't remember, sides um, on little spindly legs and arms walking around. And it seems to be examining all of the trays of food and counting however many things are on there um, as it moves around. Okay. You also see a large centaur and a winged elf who appear to be having some sort of argument and like whispered turns, like, like kind of like whispering to each other. Uh, there is also a Shadarkai goth band <laughs> on the stage. Cool. With, uh, on the drums is printed Doom Train uh, as the band name. Nice. And I then can't wait for the rendition. For your particular notice, 
you're beginning to feel a kind of sickness in your stomach. Oh, no. But it's not that strong yet. Off in the far corner, lounging on a webby chaise long, is this gross, obese-looking pig demon with these tiny little wings. Um, and it's just eating and constantly just shoving food in its mouth. And as it finishes, spiders with little trays on their back bring more. And just on the edge of it, you can kind of feel that queasiness that arises whenever you're in the presence of a demon. Um, but not not strong enough yet. You'd okay. have to get closer to it. Okay, so A, she's got some weird friends, but I can't go in that corner. I'm sorry, what? What? I can't go in that corner. Why? Um, yeah, he's grotesque. He is, He is. but I mean, I'll barf. Okay. If we're lucky. I mean, I probably would too. Yeah, no, he's... Uh, well, don't go if near I him. Don't, if, and and if, if I touch someone, they'll have to fight the demon. So you should know, going in. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> If Again, you touch someone, they'll have to fight the demon? This is really garbage, like, infernal gift that I got stuck with anyway. So I'll make you really good at fighting the demon, um, but I don't know if you cannot fight the demon. Uh, so, okay, so don't maybe touch you Ayla. stay close to me, and then you get to fight it. How huh? about, now check it out, what if... Oh, no you're back! I, I, well, I've been here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah you kind yeah, of yeah, came yeah, down yeah. together, yeah. So Obviously, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> a concept. That's Dungeons and Dragons. What if you don't start fights at a party? Yeah. yeah. I mean, option. Uh -huh. And I did say, just I can't go in that corner, or I will. I can't control it. That sounds like profiling. Um, <laughs> you just saw someone you know in a what? corner. It's like, I want to fight You know what? Yeah. Take it up with the freaking king of the hells, because I didn't ask for this shit. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I really don't want to, but yeah, you know the thing about if we go home and we haven't completed this, the you yes. know eternal um, pain, misery. As yeah. you guys are talking, better barfing is better than that. The incubus sees you and begins making his way directly for the four of you as you're kind of whispering together, and he kind of like moves his way. He picks up a little champagne flute as he's going, like downs it. Oh God, what's this voice? What's going on here then? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> we got a bunch of little mortals coming up to the astral plane, eh? Huh? Uh, I uh, like them. Uh, uh, <laughs> look at this handsome fella. Yeah, look at this oh, handsome hey. fella. How you doing? You uh, right? Yeah. A yeah. yeah. couple of strong ladies. I like a few strong ladies, eh? <laughs> Don't know about Sorry. you, Birdman. You're not my type. Sorry. Ha! <laughs> hey, at least he won't eat me. Uh, no, I, eat I could. We. Uh, we, uh, we what? Uh, we hang on. What? He said he would. He well could. said. Adorable. <laughs> you little mortals. You're all so confused all the time, aren't you? Yeah, they. Yes, actually. That happens well. when you're kind of ripped out of your world and put somewhere else. Oh, that's that a shame. Know. Oh well, you can make it more enjoyable. You know, you could join me over there, and there's a few up extra rooms around, or we could get a little drink together. Or, you know, huh? Anybody? That Not you. Fun. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Uh, when you kind of do with you, he kind of, yeah, he looks a bit offended, actually, when you're kind of, like, dismissive of him. Dude, you're offended? <laughs> You'd be lucky to be with me. <laughs> I'd be lucky. <laughs> it's very true. I'm a very handsome Thank Aracocra. You. Well, maybe. Too many feathers for my liking. Whip. So what are you doing here? Buds! <laughs> <laughs> I know, we, were, we were brought here, like, as the you know, mortal guests to the party, oh. just to show, like, you know, there's no hard feelings depending on lifespan. Yeah, like, that's nice. It is. Yeah, that's you know? nice. Like, I... To show that diversity. Yeah, Duskwill is a weird one like that, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, I, I think it's more forward-thinking than weird, but, yeah, weird's a word you could use. So what are you doing here, huh? What are you really doing here? Huh? Oh, we're, we're here to make sure the party goes off swimmingly. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Well, if you want to do that, then come join me for some drinks. Hey, what's what's your what's your name? Yeah, what was your name again? Oh, my name's my name's Jasimir. Cool. You know, I don't That's often brag. <laughs> hey, hey, very convenient. That's the dude. <laughs> what are you whispering about there, eh? What Things are you whispering about? I'm not whispering. We're just okay. saying how attractive you are. <laughs> your pants are great. Okay, you're gonna have to give me a deception check on that. <laughs> There's no way I'm letting you get away with just saying that. Um, 13. That's just a straight 13. He like leans in. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm just he kind of twists his little forked goatee. Look how pretty her dress is, though. I mean, yeah, 
Oh, that's not. That's true. I do. A little tiefling, huh? Mm. And it looks Sorry. Like I'm not good at and this. And then he starts leaning over towards Avalon. <laughs> like J Jasmir, was it? Yeah, Jasmir. What's Jasmir. your name, fella? Ah, oh, Paulton. Nice uh, to meet you, Paulton. Paulton Seppa of uh, in Waterdeep. I'm not going to remember a second name. You'll be lucky if I remember your first name. Fair enough. You're, uh, I point to his glasses. Like, you're, you're looking a little low there, buddy. Want me to, want me to top you off, get you well, something? Look there? at this. What a nice man. Why don't we go get a drink together? Oh, uh, please. Like, you, you seem like you've got a thing going on. It's here, true. So. I do have a thing, if you know what I mean. Yes. This one's into me. <laughs> wow. I'm just going to stand okay. behind Quill. <laughs> like, anyway, drink order. I'll be back. Anyone want anything? You had, you had champagne. I have this. All right, Oh, this good. is the ambrosia. Get the good stuff. Don't let the spiders knock you off with any of that cheap mortal crap. Oh, they got a top shelf. I'm on it. Good man. Good man. Top lad. <laughs> He's going to come back drunk, isn't he? Yep. Yeah. Uh, that seems likely. Yep. Jasmine will just linger around, but y it's a busy party. You can always make excuses and go off. Um, you can go and speak to whoever you wish. Mm. Oh, so I he's just wandered off then? Like no, he's kind of like lingering around, but he'll like grab somebody as they okay. walk past. He starts talking to the uh, one questions. of the Shadakai. Yeah, so that's one of the guys. I can easily see the other two, the Githyanki and the, I forgot the name of the second one. Like, I, I talked to one person one time, and I'm already creeped out, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm freaking out. I'm panicking. I got I'm, 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 I'm actually I having, I think, a crisis. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to go home. I feel like <laughs> I want to smash, smash the orb. Feel an overwhelming urge. Right? That was not a bad plan. Does yeah. that guarantee our way back? Terrible. Have I totally no. left yet? Uh, I mean, you can decide. Okay. I'm a nice dear. You okay. Do what you want. Okay. You do what, so you, you, do what so you want, Nate. Okay. You're my Pat Rothfuss. <laughs> Fancy. Don't encourage that. Don't encourage that. <laughs> it's going to be a very fun flight. The chandelier the instantly lowers. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I must do. <laughs> um, so I hear this. I'm just, uh, okay, so the whole smashing thing, no. Literally no. I was like only 60% serious right now. Right now. Still no. Might, might. If... If, if that orb is smashed and we don't just do this job and go home, I will personally, I don't know. I haven't figured it out. It's been a while since I've looked at my That's spells, but I can do a lot of stuff that hurts. <laughs> and that was a hell of a threat. Um, okay, I mean, look, we'll okay. try and do it. We'll try and do the things. Yeah. This Jasmine guy is creepy and not into me. And <laughs> that's what makes you the I best candidate. Okay. Well, he does, he's not interested yeah. in you at all. Like, right. No, but you can... You <sighs> right, so he's going to make like me do this, aren't you? You got do the you nice dress and stuff, though. So, you know, it's like it was kind of made for you. I'll stand near you while you do it and just be <laughs> creeped out. Okay, is it going to be a problem if I punch him? I, I think I, I, punch think, him. I yeah. think you would be okay. great at stopping people from fighting. That's, that's where I might be better. I feel like you don't really know me. I think well. you two should stop people from fighting, mostly yourselves. <laughs> yeah. Can't no guarantee that. Yeah, no, 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 for And I think you should talk to this Jasimir guy because I think it would be funny. But, <laughs> <laughs> but there's no way he's gonna tell me anything, especially about his um, secret plans, uh, because why would he? Ask him Why about his... Why does he do the secret plans like that? Because he's probably standing, like, right <laughs> next to us. Okay, you're having this open conversation anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. probably heard most of it. Oh. Maybe. Hey, Good. bud, we're investigating you. <laughs> uh, just, I just know, everyone <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, just ask him about his thing and go with that. All right, cool. Just, just okay. do the direct approach. Right, well, in that case... I can do direct. It'd just okay. probably be very pleasant. Here's a potion a love potion with side effect that shouldn't affect us until after the party's finished. I'm sorry, you have a what now? Oh, it's a oh, love we made a potion. We're going to stop the war between the Gith Yankee and the Gith other guys. Until it hour. starts even worse. Yeah. By then, we'll be gone. Totally. We don't live here. It's fine. No. I'm really good at making potions. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. OK, <laughs> cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk over to, I'm, I'm going to walk away from this. Yeah. OK. okay. You walk away. So what's everyone okay. doing? He's so definitely going to get drunk now. Okay. Yeah. Where's the Archon? All right. Uh, you, I mean, 
think it's Do you know much about angels? Lady. You can make a religion check for me. That's who uh, I was going to go to. I, I, yeah. She's like the only one, right? I mean, there is definitely only one nine foot tall blue woman with giant feathery winged wings and golden armor. Winged wings. Right, I'm making winged sure wings. there was. Shut up. Winged wings. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Damn it. Sorry. <laughs> I was going to go the whole Pax West without doing it, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, cool. Yeah. I, well, I'd say, yeah. You start making your way over to the, the, the her, the plant mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, should we just get this incubus guy over with? Or should we try the love potion? The love potion? Oh, on the, uh, on the Githyanki guy? Yeah. That's what it's for, right? You oh. weren't going to give it to the incubus, were you? I don't need to. Why look, look at him? Why I know, it's you? like supercharging. Look at the way he's looking at both of you. He does not need a love potion. <laughs> We are on the same page, man. Yeah. I might vomit. Remember, you were saying you were going to vomit? I'm getting close now. Yeah. This All right, way. so... Zuni's just kind of snuffling around you, but every time one of the giant spiders walks past, you can see her, like, big, drooling, sizzling maw just kind of, like, <laughs> following these like giant spiders around. No eating spiders. <laughs> that, I guarantee, is gross. Like, whoa. Can I make friends with the dog instead? <laughs> I mean, you can try. She kind of a little protective. Can you tell her that I'm I'm a nice person? I can. Sometimes it works, even. <laughs> sure. Make an oh. animal handling check for me. All right. Uh, that is a 20, but not a natural. Mm. 20? Mm. Wow. Yeah. My dog listens to me, apparently. Z Zuni will listen, and she kind of like lowers like, her head and like... I, Ayla, Ayla, right? Ayla, she's nice. She is a good friend. <laughs> she has a big hammer. Yeah, kind of like sniffs around the hammer and sort of like, mm. and it, there's there's not immediate friendship, but it's, she's willing to like let you approach and like be kind. Yeah, you can kind of like tap her, and she's got this kind of <laughs> thick hide, this kind of like bristly, thick, demonic hide or devilish hide. Quill, quill, quill. I want one. No. Why? No. Well, it'd be totally <laughs> fine. No. Also, she shouldn't see the demon because, like, she's bred to, like, yeah. cover her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinks you're petting it for now. Uh, Polton, you make yes. your way over to Archon Aramanthea. Uh, and as you kind of approach, you can see she's kind of Brienne of Tarth style, mm -hmm. very straight backed, looking okay. around, but is, is analyzing, almost like in a protective way. Cool. And she sees you approach and is like, Greetings, mortal. What can I help you with? Are you all right? Yeah, I like kind of turn. I'm just like, hey. <laughs> Hello. Some party, huh? It is indeed a party. It is. I like that. That's smart. That's, that's, I get what you did there. It was really good. I answered your question. Mm. Yes. So how do you know? Uh, I, I don't hesitate on the name. I do remember it. Uh, Lady Dusk Willow. Lady Dusquillow provides various services for Celestials operating in the astral plane. Ah. She allows us to use her ship when we need to scout out for enemies. Uh, oh. Such as, and you can see her eyes, like she is glaring at the incubus and the demon as if mm, she kind of like folds her lip a little bit. Suffice to say, I'm here almost as a uh, protection against mm. these more foul guests that she has invited. Quite what she's planning to do, I do not understand. Ah, uh, yes, foul seems to be the theme. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> she does oh. not get the pun. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what is your name, mortal? Oh, Paulton. Uh, Paulton Seppa. Paulton Seppa. Well, it is very nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you. Uh, what, what did you say your name was again? Archon Aramanthia. Ar Aramanthi. The whole. Do you go by the whole thing or? The Aramanthi? Archon is a title. Oh, yes. gotcha. I definitely knew that. Aramanthia. Okay. Well, it is very nice to hear that uh, Lady Dusk Willow provides uh, things that you need or yep. maybe even want. Uh, yes, I suppose so. Mm. She's she's very good at that. She uh. She has a way of knowing what it is. As you're talking to her and as you kind of start talking about things that you want and things like that, you can see she kind of like reaches a hand up to this long braid of hair and she almost starts just like playing with it, like stroking it. Like mm. you kind of get the impression that that makes her ner like she's nervous about something. Wow. Um, I like kind of stop mid sense and I observe that. It's like I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't hit on a hit on a nerve or anything, did I? No, 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 of course not, no. No, oh. I, as a celestial, no, I'm, I'm absolutely fine. No, of course not, it, yes. as you would. Well, I just, <coughs> you know, I... Uh, you must apologize, I'm, I'm going to go and uh, I must speak with some of the others now. It's like, no, we, we, 
were just we were, we were just you know getting good conversation. Can I? And I'm, uh, is there like like drinks put out or anything? Yeah, you like, can just go and help yourself. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna like grab one and say, like, pl please, sh shall we cheers? Oh, uh, I don't normally drink. Um, I, as a I, celestial. It's a party. I think you should. I think I think you should loosen up a little bit. We're gonna have a good time here. And make, I'd like make a persuasion check. Thank for me. you. <laughs> That's what you were fishing for. Okay. Hmm. 23. <laughs> Whoa! Right, I was waiting for that one. Well, yeah. from a 10? Yeah. yeah. Plus 13. Oh, man. Wow. Persuasive well, man. I suppose I can have a little. Um, and she'll take the glass of ambrosia and begin sipping it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. You know. So while Porton's doing that, what are the rest of you doing? Uh, right, so I guess... Apart from <laughs> Hellhound. <laughs> so it's up to me for the... Jasmine guy, right? Well, I'll do it if I can bring the dog with me. D is he near the corner? Because oh, yeah, if he's, he's near the corner, you're not going there. Is Jasmine near the corner? Um, he's wandering around. He's wandering the party, mingling with various people. You could try and get him on here. You could try and ask him to <sighs> be on his own. Look, it's That's okay. It's okay. Idea. You've got the potion. There's two of you. You're, okay. you're scary. So you can stop these two from fighting easily. I'm not going to be able to stop them from fighting. Okay. They'll fight not over me, for me. We, uh, to eat. I'm talking about the eating thing again. Right. Should we go for the? I'll go for Jasmine. Okay. Okay. Sure. So you're going to move, move right. over to him. Uh, as you move over to him, you can see he's uh, <laughs> he's kind of watching this bickering couple, this centaur and this winged elf. Um, and the centaur is getting very drunk, and the winged elf is like slapping him, and is like, "Stop it! Stop!" <laughs> You've had enough. <laughs> I don't think I have. I, this party's garbage. She's just like, look, we've been invited politely. Just p p behave yourself. And the incubus is just kind of like, <laughs> just watching them. Oh, those two don't seem to get along too well, huh? Are you kidding? They're married. What? Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Love. What a load of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... What do you want, bird man? You don't need a relationship with love, right? I mean... You know, maybe we could be friends. You know, said you weren't into me, but maybe we could just jazzy. Come on, buddy. No, absolutely like not. Absolutely jazzy. Not. Do you know what the <laughs> fuck I am? I'm a devil of the nine hells. You're some chicken with a <laughs> with a compass. <laughs> Don't you fucking call me jazzy again, boyo. Hey, listen. I'll send you to the hells. I'll send you to the depths of Stygia. I actually believe you. Good. Give me a chance. Please. <laughs> oh, you're pretty desperate, aren't you? <laughs> Listen, I've been teleported to this place. I've, been, I've met spiders. I've met hellhounds. I've met this guy who wants to eat me. And I'm pointing to Polton. <laughs> I like, what? I j just someone. Oh, you're pretty pathetic, aren't you? You look yes. awful racist. Yes. <laughs> oh. All right, I'll be your friend. How about that? Yes, okay. <laughs> Get me a drink. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> good answer, Boyo. Good answer. Oh. It uh, is, it's good to establish the dynamic of the relationship up yeah. front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially one of, one of them's the devil. Mm -hmm. uh, what about Ayla and Happy? What are you guys doing? Okay, do you want the, the Gith Yankee or the... I don't know the, the name other of guy. the other guy. I don't either. I forgot it. Uh, I think if we just say the other guy really fast, maybe they won't notice. You can see that the one in the <laughs> priestly <laughs> robes, um, the one in the priestly robes is kind of following the other one around, but keeping a distance. He's kind of like folded arms and like he'll like walk right. over, and if he moves over to somewhere, he kind of shuffles his way over and is, is like watching him closely. I'll take that one. I don't know which one it is. But maybe they'll like to talk about themselves, and they'll tell us, and we can skip the part where we look like we don't know what we're doing. What are the potion? Like, uh. it's just like, what if we take the potion and we pour a little bit into two of these glasses, yep. so they both get half a potion, and then they won't necessarily get make out for the whole party, but... But they only have Wait. half a potion. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe it's just half, half a... Uh, uh, yeah, you can do that. You put, would you pour <laughs> it into the two glasses? <laughs> This heavy like heavy would loop. do heavy would do that. Yep. But she loop, wants loop. wait wait wait. But okay. she but she wants buy off okay. here because okay. did we make two team? No, we only made one. Made one. Mm -hmm. Just Take made one. one. Okay. Happy. This is what I'm saying. Hey, like hey, if you look. have half of a, a of a love potion, are then you just sort of like 
platonically friends? It's like more of a like unsure crush potion. Right. <laughs> That's fine for our purposes. You don't like murder your sure. crush usually, I don't think. I mean, I don't know what people do here. I really don't. At yeah, all. let's hope it doesn't half the duration. Didn't think of that one, did you? Havelar to the party. No, Havelar absolutely did not think of that. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you guys doing? So, do you have a better idea? Nope. I'm here for a better idea. Half potion, Half sounds potion. great. Yeah, 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 let's Marvelous. do that. Uh -huh. So you pour po the potion into two glasses, okay. and then one of you is going to go up to the one in robes, and one's going to go up to the one in armor, yeah? All right, okay. I got robes guy. I'm going to get um, another glass for myself okay. as well. Yeah, That's a good does, idea. Do they look the same? Like yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're all like crystal little champagne. No, 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 I'm gonna. I know which one is the potion, but I meant like so. If I was holding them, he couldn't see like that they were different okay. colors or anything. No, no, they're the same color. Okay. The love potion is w wonderfully invisible. How about that? Uh, How that's convenient. Yeah, convenient. <laughs> okay. So uh, when Harry, you kind of take Zuni and you approach the one in the yeah. robes, and there is this kind of moment of like he kind of looks at you and then turns and then turns back more composed. Uh, greetings. How may I help you? Hello. Um, I don't know anybody at this party, and you seemed like you were all alone, so I came to talk to you, and I brought you a drink. That is very kind of you, little creature. My name is, uh, Morg Zorm. <laughs> I'm a Githzerai. Githzerai. That is right. You might have cool. probably heard of my species. Lots. Of Super course. lots. They mm. definitely have heard of you before. <laughs> <laughs> Super yes. lots. <laughs> So, well, thank you for the drink. I'm afraid that I do not normally partake in alcohol. Uh, it is part of my priestly tradition. Pulse. Who throws a, uh, who throws a party <laughs> with booze and invites, like, holy people? <laughs> <laughs> this lady, apparently. Okay. It's really annoying, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> who's, that, who's the guy you're making eyes with? Oh, uh, well, no. Uh, he, she is uh, one of the Gith Yankee. She is a dangerous enemy of your people and mine. Uh, you should try and avoid her if possible. Oh. Uh, yes, very dangerous folk. They, uh, we were once one people, but they have become the tyrants that they once sought to kill, and my people will hold them back. Well, that sucks. Indeed, it does suck. <laughs> <laughs> While you're talking to him, you make your way over to the other one, uh, who kind of clocks you, kind of eyes you up and down a little bit. Ah, greetings, mortal. Hello. How may I help you? I was just admiring your armor. Thank you. It is, uh, it has been with me for many years. You seem a warrior yourself. I am, yes. Hmm, interesting. You mortal warriors can be formidable sometimes, but uh, you're no Gith Yankee, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. Tell me a bit more about, about, about your fighting style. I'm really intrigued to, to hear more. Would you like a drink, by the way? Oh, yes, I will. Thank and you. she takes the drink. Yes. And then she holds <laughs> it. But then she's like, well, first of all. And she pulls from her sword, from her scabbard, a silvery greatsword. You see this. And she gestures it towards you. But then she begins putting it near the thread. With this, I could snuff out your life in an instant. Cutting your silver cord to the astral plane would kill you instantly. Cool. And well, that's what that does. Shing! Puts it back. But of course, I have no quarrel with you. Your time will come to serve as our slaves. But for now, I'm trying to avoid that one. Okay. She just. Do you know um, roughly what time that will be? Like, give me a time estimation oh, on. Uh, a few centuries, perhaps. Oh, cool. Not yeah. long. I'm gone. That's fine. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> You're quite funny. I try. Mm. People tell me I'm delightful. Well, I don't know about that, but I no. admire a strong warrior, especially amongst all of these pompous idiots. Has the Incubus tried to make sexual oh, yes. relations yes. with you? Yes. yes. Quite, quite disgusting. irritating one, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> you are quite, what was your name? Ayla. You are quite good for a mortal, Ayla. Hmm. I'm she doing it. Interest. I'm making friends. <laughs> Ayla is schmoozing and is actually succeeding. Paulson. What? Nailed it. <laughs> what are you doing? With uh, You return to, you've got the angel. Uh, how much have you been drinking? Um, the, it's not like, a, like funneling drinks into this person situation. It's more just like two or three to like loosen up and okay. just be like, oh, let's Shh. just pour from the heart. This planetar is pissed. <laughs> the what? She is drunk, the oh. angel. Oh. Uh, 
<laughs> he's kind of... Well, then I guess I am too, then. I've just been keeping up. Okay, so. if you've been keeping up. Well, this, the, whatever you're drinking is extremely strong. It is potent alcohol, but it tastes like honey and sweet nectar, and it's easily drinkable. And she is leaning on you, mm -hmm. uh, just kind of leaning on your shoulder because she's like nine feet tall. Mm -hmm. You know, the problem with places like this, mm -hmm. my good man, yeah. is that they remind you of what you don't have in life. I know, right? Yeah, what, <laughs> have, what, what, what's your story then? Come on. What's I, your story? Man, let me tell you, like, I, I feel like it's less about what your backstory is, and it's more about what your front story is going to be, you know? <laughs> your front? Story. Yeah, your front story. It's ridiculous. No, it's not. It's only as ridiculous as you let it be. Yeah. That's very wise of you. I just, I think it's more about like, what, just what you're looking for your front oh, story to don't be. Oh, so please. Oh. Hey. It's no, embarrassing. No. I don't want to talk about it. Here, how about, I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you mine, and if you tell me yours, I can go first, Stephen. Okay. So, what mm. what do you want in life? I let me tell you, man. I've been I've been through some shit. Okay. Yeah. Man, like my my you know my my parents are dead. For us mortals, that's a thing that happens. You just stay, but they were like yeah. killed. Then you know, house is blown up like five times and stuff. Wow. Five. And, yeah, something like that. I don't know. I lost God. count. It, man, as there's something about like a dark lord and curses, and you know, I think more than anything, I just want some damn normalcy. You know? You know what? I I get that. Yeah. Like I just. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever been in love? <laughs> oh. I'm an angel, Paulton. Yeah. I'm an angel. Yes, I've got to fight are. an endless war against the demons and the devils. Uh, yeah. You know what I don't get to do? I don't get to be in love. Sometimes I, sometimes I go in disguise into the material plane, and I buy romance books to read when I'm back in the fortress. That's no, not fair. It's really sad. Let me, let me tell you something. Yeah. I have been like a couple times, and it's. Yeah. It's great, man. You feel it's like great. you feel like you, oh, you can you can fly, right? Yeah, I can fly. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> well, I find where I want to go, though. <laughs> oh let me tell you, it feels it feels like like oh. your soul, you like your insides can yeah. fly, and it's 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 beautiful, it's beautiful man. It's, it's beautiful. great. You you deserve that. Thank you. Know? you. And I I'm do. really glad you told me that. I'm good too. It's good to get it out of the chest sometimes. It, I, I was so, going to give like well. a... <laughs> bring it in. Bring it in. The feathers kind of wrap around yeah. you and you have like a nice oh, hug. Man. Oh, man. And then she starts oh, like just oh. stroking your face. You're very handsome. Like, oh, here we go. She's <laughs> well. like, you're handsome. <laughs> Jasmine, I've got your drink. Ah, good one, Boyle. Thank you very much. Anything else you need, just let me know. Let me know. I, I, I'm your guy. <laughs> you know what? You're a funny little fella, aren't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh -huh. read your mind. Can you? Yeah. What, what, is, what, do you, what can you see? First of all, you're terrified of being eaten. No. Oh. <laughs> no. There's something, there's something you want. Huh? There's something you want I from me. I want to go home. <laughs> I can always help you do that if we make a deal. What kind? <laughs> you know, my lord, Mammon, he's working on something pretty big right now. Oh, yeah? Can always use more people, more help. What does Quill know about devils? Also, do make I hear this? Life what? Also, do I hear this? Make a perception check for me. See if you hear this over the din of the party. Okay, so my religion. Can I also? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is a plus one from me. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> nice. Mine's an 18. Yours is an 18. So have you absolutely hear this incubus utter the words like, we can always make a deal. Hold up, good guy. 
I did a rubber thing. That sounds great. Don't do that. Don't do what? Why? What? Why? No, he's me. He's oh, me. don't listen to the tiefling. Their kind made big mistakes a long time ago. It's fine. We'd work something out. What the shit? Damn. Why? Why? But this is Jasmine, you know? I'm I've his got his best him. friend now. I got him We're drinks. friends. Trying to do the thing so we can go home. <laughs> What's the trade? You gotta ask that because there's always something on the other side. They don't just do nice things. You don't just do nice things. Mm, okay. No, we don't do nice things. You're speaking from experience. Who you been making deals with, eh? It's Suni just come here and put her head in between. Oh, okay. You've got a hellhound. I'm not all right. Calm down, you beastie. Get away. What's I'm the deal? <laughs> I'd like to hear it. I want to know what the Gith Yankee. The one that your tall, muscly friend that's into me is talking to. <laughs> that gets up to something in the hells, and I want to know what it is. Uh -huh. Find that out. I'll tell you what you want to know. That's a nice deal, right? Then the deal's done. Deal's done. I'm not interested in all that. That's way too much effort. Way too many devils making warlocks and having all sorts of trouble. They say that, and they're lying. They'll totally do more shit. So, uh, hang on. So, wait... It, but if that's the deal, I just find out what he's doing. You tell me what you're doing. That's sure. the deal? Sure. Is that acceptable, at least for you? That is acceptable. Uh-huh. Stop it there. Stop it there. Okay. That's the deal. Do you need this in you're writing? Not stop Do you it there. No, no, no. We don't need you're it in not. writing. I'm a devil. The contract's built in. They make the, the writing magically, so it already exists as soon as you agree. This one's smart. I like her. She's very I smart. Uh, not as smart as you, like though, Jasmine. Huh? Oh, he's a charmer. <laughs> yeah. I like him. No, seriously, go find out what that Gith Yankee knows. On it, on it right away, sir. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to do it. Stop copying my accent. I <laughs> Did I? And he, then he turns his, and then him and Javi start staring off. Um, Ayla, as you're talking to the Gith Yankee, first of all, you see Quill making his way over to you. Um, but then you see that the, the, the other Gith, the Gith Zurai, is approaching with a glass of drink. Does it look like the one that... The They're all the same. They're all the same. They're all the same. <laughs> uh, and he begins approaching... Um, and as you're talking, and the Gith Yankee that you're talking to, uh, her name is uh, Zarin, uh, Zarith, sorry, looks over. What are you doing here? I'm talking to this mortal. I'm coming with a sort of peace offering, Gith Yankee. We're both here. There's no sense in us avoiding each other this evening. I even bought you a drink. And he hands he it. He already <laughs> has a drink. What a shame. Well, I'll hold on to it for you. You know that my kind does not partake in alcohol. You can take that drink and shove it into the astral plane. I'm talking with this one. Get well, out. that's okay. We can all talk together. It's fine. More friends. More friends. Uh, you don't understand, mortal. Nope. These kind of cowardly traitors. Cowardly traitors. We're trying to protect the universe against your kind. I'm just going to keep talking with myself until players do something. Oh. oh. <laughs> Right. We're so enraptured. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna like stand like so that I'm kind of in between them and be like, so tell me more about your kind. <laughs> I'm gonna run up. Am I still holding? I forgot you've if got I should. So you, you've got your I, drink. Be like, you forgot your drink. You have a different drink. Here, trade me. Trade me. Trade me. Trade me. <laughs> is that he, he like takes it and swaps it with you? Is that a, a non-alcoholic drink? Yes, I went and found it special. <laughs> Make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how good this is going to be. Uh, 13. You have advantage because oh, you currently have the enhanced That's right. It's oh. still 13. <laughs> <laughs> it really wants to be 13. It's like, uh, I did not believe that Lady Dusk will have provided any. Still, I'm not thirsty. And uh, perhaps you should find something Here's less... Disruptive. You are interrupting a conversation. Well, I think we could all have a very lovely conversation together. I'm intrigued by. Well, uh, uh, hey, it's everyone. Hey, have you guys got your drinks yet? Because um, <laughs> we oh should man. have a toast. They're a doozy, huh? Not that one. That one's not not a doozy at that's all. That's not. A, that's a real You're doozy. A That'll do you. But that one. Of, uh, part of what we're doing here is supplying the guests with drinks and fun and conversation. Fine. Let's get this over with. Hey, to parties. Then. To parties. Ding, ding. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Ayla's gonna drink it anyway. <laughs> so, I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Have a laugh. <laughs> All right. He's drunk. Half the love 
Like Ooh. if Yankees drink that's half not love. good. Okay. Wait. So where was six. the love? Where was the love? Yeah. Where is the love? Where is the love? It's with the Gith Yankees. Oh, good. The Githians are right. Uh, uh, so you're watching this, and you see the two Gith Yankee who are glaring at each other. Their eyes turn a clouded pink, and they kind of stare at each other for a moment. You kind of blink a few times. What did you get on your con save, Havilar? Six. Okay. Nice. <laughs> the second this hits your system, yeah. <laughs> And you just hurl. You, the <laughs> bath just scores oh. across the ground. And you can see that inside, whatever you just threw up, whatever you just drank, even though it was clear, parts of it begin sizzling and popping. There was some sort of poison in the glass oh, that I see. he was bringing over. Nice. Um, but the two Gith Yankee and the Gith Right don't even seem to notice because they're just like, I never realized how powerful you are. You've always been quite a wise one. Should we... We should talk more. I feel that we don't talk enough, my dear. Yes, yes. Perhaps we should move over here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. don't go here just oh, yet. Hey, so you. Well, yes. Hey, which one was the deal for again? The Githyanki? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> the bi hey, big guy. Githyanki guy. Hey. Uh, it's a girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. I'm so sorry, this my bird friend does not know manners. Why am I the Clearly. one saying this? I would like to have a conversation um, with my good friend. If oh, wait, yeah, but hey. Uh, we, we need to, I need to take, um, You're right. wait a second. Whew, yeah, yeah, that was a. Zuni starts yeah, like, was a trying killer. to lick up the sick. No, 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 stop that. <laughs> <laughs> stop that. So, yeah, so um, uh, we're supposed to find out for our, our boss um, if you're ready with the thing. In the place, and it pointed at Zuni. <laughs> Make a persuasion. <laughs> and Quill, are you trying to help out? Do you want to jump in and try and say something? I mean, she's just hey. rambling. I'm trying to jump in. Oh, I didn't. Oh, wow. All. Four and a three. Yeah, it says a four. I won't help. <laughs> <laughs> and it's almost like it's just they're confused. <laughs> That's fair. What? I didn't do a really great job. What are job. you talking about? Oh, my God, help me. Hey, man, hell's. And you see the Gith Yankee, the warrior one, just kind of eyes go wide. And you can see her hand kind of strays to the, her sword. What, a, what about them? God, it's just a hell of a place, huh? Go this. Uh, Paul, yeah. I Am I, like, kind of making my way away from this? Or? I mean, how well do you think you can fend off the advances of an angel woman? <laughs> fend off is not what I would be trying to do. Embracing? I, I more just say, like, this conversation's going in a very interesting direction. Okay. I need to pee. <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of pull yourself away it's like, but from I will blue lipstick all over your face. And I will return. Feathers in your hair. Yes. Yep. It's like, but I'll be back. Please do. Yeah. I can't. And you can see she's drinking again, like... I, I want to be like, oh, okay, all right, well, you know... You're so kind. You're, you're mm. so kind. You, 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 you. Ah. Ah. And then she kind of, like, droops herself on the chaise long. Okay. And then like, you kind of stumble over towards the conversation. And then I'm, like, thinking about the fact that she was, like, kind of hired as defense. I'm like, all right, so if shit goes down, we are now fucked. Um... <laughs> <laughs> see how it plays out. Yeah. So you begin making your way over to this conversation, and you can see that the, the Geth Yankee and the Geth Sarai are turning on Quill now, and they're kind of looking at you confused. Um, and then there is this flash from outside the grand ballroom itself. Up in the purple, starry, hazy sky, there is this colossal... And you see... Four giant tentacles wrap around the glass dome of the ballroom. <laughs> what? Fadish, fadish, fadish. And you can see the plane, all the inhabitants start looking up, you know, confused what's going on. And in Quill, you notice that. Of course I do. There's this faint yellow gas that's coming in from where the glass has been cracked by these giant tentacles, and it's filtering down. And as the other, the planar inhabitants of the room, they start swaying, and then they just fall down, eyes open, breathing, but completely paralyzed. Because uh, why not at this point, you know? That, and that's everybody like... except the four of you is now 
Oh, e ground. even though we're like breathing the air? You, you don't know. Whatever brought you here, perhaps you're somehow protected. But I mean, you're also not necessarily here here. You've got these weird yeah. cords, but these creatures yeah. aren't actually here. The creatures never had any of the silver cords. Like, dude, immortals are so much more lightweights than I thought. <laughs> yeah. Wild. <laughs> The tentacles begin writhing and moving on the glass dome. Is this another guest? I'm going to say no. No? Mm. And then a okay. pair of chains begin <laughs> rappelling down from the giant dome itself. Ting, 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 ting. All these chains kind of fall down. Uh, is this a fight time or...? Most likely, but... Uh, Do we want to start dragging people to the Zoomie edges of the room? Zumi okay. growling, because actually, no, Zumi's paralyzed, because she was also brought here. Uh, so she's just on no! her side, like, drool sizzling as she, like, lies on her side, completely oh. paralyzed. I mean, I don't feel the need to get any of them safe I mean, right now, because the one the that dog. I was talking to is <laughs> planning to... Yeah. Back. She, she's planning to, like, take over the world and stuff, so... It, it, you I'll know. like lean down to Jasmine with his eyes open, just be like, "Hey, I'm just gonna deal with this, but then I'll get the job done. Trust me, I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll be back." Five figures begin rappelling down the chains. Four of them appear to be gray-skinned dwarves, bald of head, with dark gray skin, white beards, um, decked in dark patchwork armor. Uh, they have weird-looking long-barreled firearms, as well as cutlasses and eye patches. Some of them have like little wooden legs, and they begin par like rappelling down. But leading them in the center of this group is a distorted figure with this kind of bulbous chest, a long, elongated head, and these milky black eyes with tentacles dripping over its mouth. A mind flayer decked out in leather armor with a long scabbard, and it has an eye painted on its large forehead, kind of scoots down. One of its hands is a hook, and the other one of, it, and one of its legs is a wooden peg leg. And as it lands, well, well, well. What do we be having here? Ripe plundering of juicy brains for old pirate Captain Zelix. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, you Thank don't you. Be, you don't want to be taking what? these. You don't want to be taking these brains. No, that. That, that real dumb. Well, well, well. A couple of mortal stragglers. Stowaways, perhaps. I. Some get them. Like Captain, we've you been waiting. You are very drunk. Captain, we've been waiting for you. What? Mm hmm. There's been a change of plans. Shit. What? Hang on. The brains are being prepared for consumption. However, they're not ripe yet. You're supposed to get the memo but we were actually going to bring them to you once they're ready. Boy, are you be trying to lie to a mind flare? I am, <laughs> I, I've had like seven of these. I don't think I'm capable of lying. I would like to lie to him with a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> sure, <laughs> throw it. Ooh. Wait, I need to do math. You do, you are also at disadvantage, oh. and then I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Not quite as good. So that's a 23. 23, okay. <laughs> now make a wisdom saving throw for me. Okay. Cool. Oh, no. So, you stare at him into his face, and you, the rest of you outside, just see the temples on this big, bulbous, squid-like head, like... And Polton, you just feel this presence, like tentacles worming its way in your brain and your mind, pulling apart memories and thoughts, where you've been, why you're here, and you just kind of stare at him, and he's like, ho, 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 you're a pretty good liar, but not to fool me, me boy. Okay. <laughs> Little lonely fella, aren't you? All full of hate and sadness. Oh, don't worry, I can relieve you of that. I mean, it's kind of part of my brand at this point, so I don't <laughs> think I want that. You be talking nonsense. All right, mortals, I'll be here to say one thing. I'm not here for your braids. You're astrally projected. I can't even suck them out if I wanted to. Yay! Oh, hey, that's a positive. Hey. But I will be taking the drider ladies. I've been after Duskwillow's brain for a century. 
Hey, listen, so we got a deal going on right now. I don't care. Yeah, hey, yeah. I no, don't, seriously, uh, you want to listen to this? It's a, do I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do. It's great. But just read your mind. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Get all up in there. <laughs> Nine plus wisdom. Wait, am I, do I want to save if I'm yeah. like... Do you want to? Probably. I just told him to get all up in there. Okay. You feel invasive <laughs> tentacles pulling apart your memories. It's not invasive. I'm opening the door. Flashes <laughs> of being struck by lightning plummeting to the ground. Your wing torched. The pain. The agony. You have the memories of Sentry, your best friend in the world, being killed in a monastery. Being, you know, unleashing evil upon your own world. As it's all... <laughs> <and jumping around. laughs> Probably should have just told him the deal. Yep. He didn't want to hear it. Well, what a little sticky predicament we have here, eh? Did you get to the deal? The deal itself. I mean, I don't care if you've made some sort of deal with Dusk Willow. I want her brain and I'll be taking it with me. Okay, okay. So on that note, um, could we, would we be able to leave? I don't know. Could you, no, it, could the, you do the, that? the woman said that she had to... She has to say we did a good job. Yep. Well, yeah, but well, if that's she, a shame. Yeah, but if she doesn't have a hold, hold on. We're to, we're going to talk about this really quick. Wait, we're, I'm, we're, the, I'm a pirate. I'm right in your boat. It's really cute. It's not, not our, our boat. boat. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're we're finding a way that benefits everyone. You even more so. Okay. So like, if she doesn't have a brain, can she say we did a bad job? Nope. Well, well, well she can't say that we did a good job. I though. think she has to say we did a good job. We need positive All confirmation, right. not absence of negative. Like, excuse minute. me, I'm yeah. talking. Everybody, not absence of negative. <laughs> everybody make an intelligence saving throw. Oh, <laughs> shit. That's not going to go well. That's going to go real bad. <laughs> oh. oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work. Uh, so 18 minus 1 is 17. Woo! <laughs> Maybe. Uh, 13. Uh, 13? What was it? 17? 17. 13? 9. I let him in again. 9? <laughs> I don't know why. And I, I have a minus 1, too. Okay. Nice. Well, Zero. I will tell you that those of you who failed, which is everybody but Ayla, are going Woo! to take 15 points of psychic damage. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. As you feel this kind of shock wave of psychic energy ripple through your brains and your minds. For some Ayla, how you save against this, I don't know, and I don't know how to justify. She stopped paying attention. It. Yeah. She doesn't care enough. Like, she just doesn't care. She's em just complete emp you know, lack of empathy and huh? yeah. <laughs> was that a was that a spell? It was a spell. Oh, I counterspell it. It's not a spell, it's an ability. Well, then don't tell me it's a spell. <laughs> well, I'll counter ability. <laughs> well, in case uh, going to be like, I have like magic resistance or something. No. Yeah. But no, it is an ability, so it is not okay. a spell. Uh, and with that, let's roll some initiative. Oh, wow, okay. Woo! Jump in. Bam. Not this as good. Okay. Not no, this, out is, here. this is. This is uh. We all rolled a five. <laughs> and you rolled Whoa. a 12. We, three fives. I can change mine if that will make it, you know, so I feel like a part of the team. Do you want to, do you want to change it to a five? Please no. don't change it to a please five. Please don't. <laughs> Quill, what did you get? Quit. I got 14. 14. Havilar. Seven. Seven. Ayla. Nine. Polton. 12. 12. With well, a five? Yeah. Plus seven. Next. He's level 12. Uh, <laughs> having been shushed. Uh, the <laughs> pirate captain Xerix, the Mind Flayer, will step towards Havilar right. and his tentacles. He's like, ah, uh, I might not be able to eat your brains, but I can send you back to wherever you came from that's to suffer cool. forever. And he's going to plunge in with uh, his... In fact, no, he's going to try and wrap a tentacle around your head. Uh, oh, no. That's a natural 20. Okay. Uh, Ooh, that sucks. Ooh, that's get, wait, bad. against who? Pretty bad. Havilar, okay. Havilar, you are going to take another 20 points of damage. Oh. As this, this thing tentacle I'm thump, <laughs> and it just collapses onto your head, and you are now grappled uh, by this thing, and you, it's, you can feel it trying to rip open your skull as it's like... Oh, man. Oh. Trying to suck your brains out. Oh. Good thing I'm done with this series. Um, that, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Does so that trigger? It's okay if I just. <laughs> Is that what I'd rather you did, Ed. Yeah. Um, that trigger would trigger uh, my hellish rebuke. Okay. Accurate. You're gonna cast hellish rebuke. Yeah. Okay, so that's a saving throw for me, I think. Mm, yeah, dexterity saving throw. Uh, that is a massive fail of a seven. Okay. So All right. So three ten fire damage. Uh, that's ten, and then 
Uh, another 10? Yeah, another 10, thank you. That's so, that's 20. Nice. Bam. Points. So as you're the, the tentacle kind of wraps around the mind flare, this just scorching flame erupts from your back and your body, and it just engulfs the creature entirely. And you, he's like, ah! But he kind of still steps forward, and the tentacle is still wrapped around you, even <laughs> though he's been wreathed in flames. And he's just, you hear this kind of from the side of his mouth, like, get the rest of them, crew. Come on, deal with them while I suck out her brain. Uh, and no. with that, the rest of the Durgar, <laughs> so two of them pull out these kind of enormous blunderbusses that they've been carrying, whilst the other two draw cutlasses. Uh, we're going to have two shots, at one at Poulton and one at Qu uh, Quill, and then the two ones with cutlasses are going to rush towards Ayla. Uh, so, in fact, Quill and Poulton, can you make deck saving throws then for me? Please? Sure. Deck saving save. Oh, bam. Nice. Uh, bam. Ooh. 24. 24? Yeah. Saving throw? Yeah. Uh, like 400. Okay. 26. So the two of you, they kind of level these uh, big blunderbusses, and these huge gouts of flame erupt, but you kind of throw yourselves to the side or duck underneath them, matrix style, depending on your level of coolness. I mean, with above 20s, I feel like it'd be like a head tilt. You can just like, vroom, and it just, whoosh, this kind of mm -hmm. column of flame erupts behind yeah. you. Um, so as you're doing that, two more rush towards Ayla. One's going to strike out with a cutlass for a 21 to hit. Yep. You're going to take uh, six slashing damage. And then the other one is going to be a 23 to hit for six more slashing damage. That, that's okay. pretty okay. high. Guess um, what? My D&D Beyond just crashed. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Aww. Sweet okay. crash. It's fine. So you 12 know that's 12 damage when you, when you get in. You're not raging, so you don't half nope. that just yet. Oh. Uh, and then after that, we go to Quill. Quillic and Kalar. Oh, cool. So um, is this Mind Flayer flying? It's not like he's descending, no, he's descended down onto the ground. He repelled from the chain, and okay. he's kind of in the middle of the ballroom. All the tables and things have been knocked over from the tentacles. There's bodies of planar creatures paralyzed everywhere. Uh, there are many spilled drinks. Okay. Uh, there is a pile of puke in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to, because I've got this Bandore, and I'm trying to remember all the spells that it has, and there's tons. Well, you've um, got, like, six seconds. Okay, in that case, with my six seconds, I will do... They're all, and all the other guys are around me, right? Yeah, well, okay. two of them are kind of... One's in front of you with this gun, the other one's in front of Poulton, and then two have rushed towards Ayla. Spirit Guardians! Oof, what does it look like? It looks like a million birds. Just tons of little birds. Loads of birds! Just <laughs> birds! <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be careful or Jim Darkman is going to come see you. So, uh, oh. so you kind of launch out these waves of Spirit Guardians. So tell us what it does. Uh, so anything that is within uh, 15 feet of me, mm -hmm. which I guess is like everybody, yeah. uh, has to take 3d8 of damage, okay. radiant damage. At the uh, start of their turn? Or? Oh, they have to make a save. Okay. So A wisdom save. Wisdom save. One Durgar fails. That was a natural one. One Durgar passes with a natural 20. My dice are being great. Uh, another Durgar fails with a 10. And then the other one is a... Uh, let me check. That is a 14. What's your spell safety DC? Uh, that will be a fail. Okay, so 15. that's a fail. And so, that's the Mind Flare? Uh, and then the Mind Flare. So we've got one past Durgar, and then, and then the, the Mind Flare is crazy high. <laughs> yeah, well, how, how much wisdom does a Mind Flare 25. have? 25. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so he passes, but uh, three of the Durgar fail. Okay, so 3d8, so... Six, ten, thirteen, uh, and then everything else I think takes half that. So, okay. yeah, thirteen to a lot of boys. Yep. Like six to the other boys. A lot of and boys. Six to the. <laughs> That's still a, a yeah. lot of damage. Yeah. So these birds just kind of fly out everywhere, and the the Durgar who failed their saving throw, they're being like they're kind of like swatting at these kind of spiritual birds, desperately trying to get them out of their way and their vision. Um, and yeah, they're being like blasted with radiant energy. Polton. Yeah. What would you like to do? So I'm going to look to uh, Captain... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate, yeah. I'm going to be like... This is chose, this is, you know, this is his birth preferred name. name. Yeah, it's yeah. his preferred name. So look, before I... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I've dealt with that before. It's all fun and good. Good job. You're doing great. Great. Is that to is me or is that to the monster? That's to the monster. Okay, okay. I'm just like... You're doing great, Mark. Thanks, no, Tom. You <laughs> actually great. are doing great. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> he's, he's doing great. It's like, is there a chance that y'all will just leave willingly? B 
because it's it kind of be easier and we're a little short on time for the rest of you know this thing so we've only got about like 17 minutes so i'm just for the sake of <laughs> you'll be dead in three okay cool <laughs> so i'm just like all right fine and i um i just kind of like all right cool i'm gonna do a thing now and then i kind of like hold out my arm and then from my cloak a little dissevered hand just kind of <laughs> crawls up it and i grab it and the, the hand i'm holding with my hand just kind of points at everyone, this is and elaborate. <laughs> I love it. I'm in. I'm involved. I'm intrigued. And I am going to cast mass suggestion on it. <laughs> all the mind players in the room and say, "I've got all sorts of crazy shit that will make you wish you were dead already. So maybe you guys should just go for the sake of your own health." So they all need to make, with the bonus of the severed hand, uh, which is a plus two, a. Uh, Wait, where'd it go? Where'd it's it go? a plus where'd two go? severed hand. S um, Seven hand of plus two. What? Why not? It, it's something they're good at. It's a wisdom saving throw of 19. Na DC 19? Mm-hmm. That is a oh, that is a 19 exactly. Oh! So, but the Durgar, I have to roll for those mm -hmm. as well. Uh, one, natural mm -hmm. one. A he's three. Gone. He's gone. That's a 20. Oh, he's still here. And then another three. He's okay. gone. That's so, a, so what was the guys. suggestion again? Uh, they should leave, or else they're gonna have a horrible time. Okay. Uh, so on that, so on their turn, they'll take the suggestion. But you see, the mind flare's eyes just kind of pulse, mm -hmm. and its front lobe like. You'll be dealing with a mind flare, son, not some chump with no brain like the bird. I say, to be Aww. fair. To be fair, before I looked at the spell, I thought it was a charisma saving throw. So. <laughs> What do you mean? I'm a handsome fella. Oh, God. I've got a yeah. charisma of 17, don't you know? Uh, <laughs> you're doing great. You're really Thanks. doing great. Oh, you're handsome. I feel like I should flare. protest here. Hmm? He's eating my brain. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, after yeah, just stop that. Polton, Ayla. So do I still have the two guys, like... They are. Fighting. They. You, I mean, you've seen this kind of effect, and some of them look like they're a bit confused. Um, I'd say that the one of the ones fighting you is the one that's saved on both things, so... I'm going to hit him. I'm <laughs> going to rage first, so, so... as you begin raging, this lightning begins crackling up and down your body, up your arms, up your legs, and then into the howling tempest, your great hammer, as the lightning arcs up and down it, sparking the gem and causing colors of fl flashes of color to kind of emanate across I'm going the to attack recklessly, Mark. Wow! <laughs> no. With advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 13 or a footnote. So, 13. <laughs> 21 to hit. That will hit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, that is going to be boop, uh, two, nine damage with the hammer. And can you make a dex saving throw? I can indeed. One deck saving throw for a whopping, my god, 19. Ah! Half saves. damage. So half of six, six so three. three lightning damage. So a lot of lightning damage. You smack him with a hammer and this blast of lightning erupts through his chest. Second attack, 14. So that'll hit again, so it's a 14. Yep. And then we're Absolutely hit. Do, boop. 11 with the hammer and another, oh uh, yeah, we don't get there. Mm, don't worry about the lightning Never. damage. Never. Um, <laughs> as you bring the hammer down on a second time, you just collapse him into his side. You hear ribs and bones snap and break and the body is just hurled across into the glass dome where it shatters and the body just goes flying out into the silvery sea. Like, blink. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. A little glint. <laughs> It just Ding. turns into a star. <laughs> Have a lot. Okay. Um, as I'm held, can I hit him with the glaive? Yes, okay. you can. Right, yes, cool, so cool. you're currently grappled. Um, Good. So you will have disadvantage on the attack roll. Okay. But you can also um, attempt to break free. You can just try and like get yourself free if you'd like. <laughs> it's an athletics check. Or do you want to remain mm. tentacled? Do you want to remain? Tentacled? I don't want to remain tentacled. <laughs> that seems sentence. like the wise choice. So okay, I'll try to. I'll try to get out. Get out. Yep. Yeah. So athletics. I'm really, I feel like I'm going to end up not getting to use my glaive at all, but that's okay. We'll figure You're it out. You're still going to attack. Uh, it's a 17. Yes. So you kind of Ooh. like break free of the grapple. You kind of rip the tentacle off your head, take a step back, and then you can lower the glaive, and you've, you can okay, still take cool, your cool. action. So. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. 
Um, okay, so I'm going to attack. I'm going to use a precision attack. Okay. Um, so you're one of your combat superiors. I'm going to roll these separately because this is really big. <laughs> oh. Ooh. That really Boy, sucks. That sucks. Well. Hey, you never know. It's now a. F um, well, you have auto fail for that. Nope. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so that ends up being an eleven. An eleven is not enough on this. That was my guess. So even with a precision attack, I'm a little off. The I'm a little off. Okay, um, <sighs> but I get two attacks. You do. Um, and you can precision again that. if you want. I think. <sighs> yeah, I also have the it. distraction one. Okay. But I think that's on a hit. You can use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I okay. really want to hit him. I'm going to use the precision again. Okay. That's better. That's Bam. 17 plus, plus one, but 18. 18 is, yep, easily hit. You cut right. through. He's wearing sort of like a breastplate, but also his thick, rubbery skin is, is providing. <laughs> do you have I a great weapon fighting? Nice. I do. So oh, that's right. Re -roll. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Yay. That's better. Yay. So seven Perfect. plus three. And then just to be annoying, I'm going to hit him. I have the polearm master, so I'm going to hit him with the back. And it's a... Uh, uh, so that's a two. Two more. Two more damage. Bit. I'm a little shaky still. So you kind of throw him off, and you kind of sl slash down with one end of the glaive, and it kind of like ah digs into his shoulder. Ah, what are you doing? And then you whack up and bite him, and it kind of hits him in the cheek. And you think you see like a little mind flare tooth, like kind that's of very out, satisfying. Of his, out of his little tiny little butthole. That mouth. is very satisfying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what they have. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> uh, at the very beginning of the next round, the giant uh, glass... Uh, Wisdom save. Not yet. Carry on. The glass dome <laughs> breaks, and the giant tentacles that were kind of above, one of them is going to come slamming down into one of you four. So we'll go uh, one, two, three, Please don't be me. Please Whoa. don't be me. Two, three, four. That is a one. Quill. Oh, the squishiest one. Make Yay. a deck saving throw, please, my Dexterity friend. Dexterity save. OK, so this is plus five. <laughs> Wham! 14 <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage, and you are 14. not prone as this giant tentacle, like, bam, slams down through the uh, ballroom on top of you. Uh, what would my save be for the concentration? Uh, it's a constitution saving throw. Uh, OK. Uh, DC 10, I think, because you didn't. Woo! <laughs> Birds! Excellent. <laughs> Birds! <laughs> Mind flares go. He's going to make his wisdom saving throw, which is a failure this time. That was uh, a 7 plus 6, so 13. 6, 9, uh, 17 damage. 17 nice. points of damage. <laughs> birds! The birds just like. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, ah, get these creatures off me! Ah, and he's like flailing around as the birds kind of very uh, Hitchcock style just begin like pummeling into him. Oh, yeah. Uh, just spiritual feathers flying everywhere. Um, but then he's going to turn around. Uh, let's see if his mind blast has recharged. Oh, yeah, let's have a little look at that. It has not. Oh, <laughs> that's a shame. Yay! That's a shame. <laughs> so. Sensing that the Barbarian and the uh, Fighter, the Tiefling Fighter, are quite scary opponents, uh, let's have, ooh, one, two, you're scary. Make a uh, wisdom saving throw. Oh, no. This is not going to be good. That's a four. Oh. <laughs> you are now dominated. Oh. Whoa. Sorry. Kill, <laughs> kill that one. Is that a spell that he just did? That is a spell he just cast. Would you like to try and counter spell? Yep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm not, I'm not fighting her. I believe. This is what I say. What level are you casting at? Uh, let's go with fourth. Fourth, eh? Mm hmm Oh, I believe you will need to. Sorry, I'm just looking this up. Uh, oh, God, why did you do this? Uh, <laughs> Uh, if it's a casting spell of fourth level or higher, uh, make an ability check. Yes, I think you're going to have casting. to make an ability check. I'm okay. just checking what level of spell this is. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, make an ability check. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So it says uh, cast a little, 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 uh, ability check using your spell casting ability. Yeah. Okay, so so d20 it. plus your charisma. Yep. Ugh, that's a nine. That's not enough. Okay. Uh, so you go to counter the spell, but for whatever reason, its psychic energy, whatever it's used to create its spell, is just alien to you. The spell mm -hmm. takes hold. You are now dominated, Ayla. Yikes. Attack, attack and Sorry. kill Halton. Sorry. I'm going to stop using this one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. So after his go, because that's all he can do, that's his action on that, the remaining Durgar, three of them, in fact, the three surviving Durgar, run, nope, you can, well, you can roll it if you want, because it'll probably kill them, but the mass suggestion causes them to run towards the now open sides of the ship and just throw themselves <laughs> in the Smash Brothers style, like, I told them to escape or like right. leave. Nice. So I guess. I'll All right. Do, do you want me to? Let's see. One passed. One failed. One passed. Cool. 19 damage to the one that didn't pass. Where well, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> he's pecked <laughs> apart by spirit birds. <laughs> the, the other, the other, other two birds. just wee and throw themselves off okay. of the ship. Okay, man. Ah, mutinous bastard crew. I'll take care of you all myself because we've still got seven minutes. <laughs> okay, uh, whose goes it now? Uh, so I after those, we go to your go, Quill. Cool. Uh, I am going to use a bonus action to heal. <laughs> Hilarious. Wow. A healing player. He's healing. Heal a guest. Uh, yes, I'm going to heal. Uh, have a <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I've seen your, I can see your health here. It's um, oh, well, no. Very nice. And that's at level three, so it's I do 3D8. Like 3D4. Oh, a healing word. Uh, that's one. Hey, three. Whoa, that's a big roll. It's the thought that counts. Eight health, huh? <laughs> and you're like, well, you know job. what? That's a third level spell. <laughs> <laughs> Take it out with the designers. You might still be able to get Jeremy if he's around. Hey. <laughs> uh, anything else? Uh, yeah, so that was my bonus action. Yeah. And now I'm just going to look at Jasimir because, like, this sucks. I want to get out of here. And my eye is going to start clouding over, and there's going to be lightning blossoming in there. And I'm going to look at him and say, What are you up to at this party? <laughs> okay. So you're going to use your Eye of the Storm. The My Eye of the you. Storm. So you watch as your vision turns misty and clouded, and suddenly you see a rush, and you see uh, Jasimir, this incubus, meeting with a devil down in the depths of Avernus, a fiery wasteland of yellow dust, volcanoes, obsidian mountains, and flame. And you see him meeting with a red-skinned, horned devil, uh, an old creature, millennia old and very powerful, in the depths of a forge. Zariel is up to something, my dear Jasimir. I would like your master to provide me with some pure platinum that I can deal with her plans. Whatever she's up to, it involves Baldur's Gate. Go and speak with your planar allies. See what she can learn. And then suddenly you're back in reality. I know what you're up to, you prick! <laughs> also, I never liked you! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's fine. Um, I will, however, because I'm sure somebody's yelling about it, make a concentration check for the spell. How much ah. damage did you do, Quill? Uh, 17? 17. Wait, when? To the mind With player. the spiritual guardians. Oh, I thought I already did that, didn't I? Yeah, no, no, you but did, you need but to I'm make a, a save. concentration check. Oh. Nope. You, uh, just how no. much did you do? Do you 17, remember? 17, 17. Don't roll the dice. 17. 17. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking me to do. <laughs> I was just Nothing. Never mind. Uh, Seventeen. The spell, the concentration goes on the dominate person, on the dominate monster. Sorry. Ah. Cool. So you so, kind of feel oh, yourself like I see. Uh, snap back to reality with this intense urge to kill Polton, and then it vanishes. Hmm. Don't like, like that. Are you, so. Are you, are you good? You had a weird. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no. no it's fine. This guy's gonna just. Uh, I'm not pleased with him. I'm going to um, hold my hammer up. So lightning starts charging into it, okay. and I am going to launch it straight at the Mind Flare. So... Yep, you're going to use your... The, yes, the I'm going to use my, yep. my throw. Um, Sue. So you, you uh, make an attack Can I attack him? recklessly yep. as well? So 16... 24 to hit. That is a hit. Um, oh, so weapon damage plus 46. So, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 with the hammer, and then. Ooh, 21, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 lightning damage with the hammer, and then the hammer flies back to my hand again. You throw it out, and as it kind of collapses into your hand, you. you uh, 
You watch as this lightning just arcs up and down this creature, its rubberized body. Havilar, right in front of you as you've been facing down this thing, it just begins shuddering. It's like, oh, I knew I should have gone somewhere else. And then it explodes Whoa. in purple blood, just covering the front of you in this goopy <laughs> mind player blood as it's just, <laughs> and then it explodes in a, in a gout of purple goo. Ugh. That was amazing. That was uh, absolutely, all this is worth it. That was amazing. I made friends today and everything. Like, this is, <laughs> this is a good day for me. As the Mind Flayer dies, the great tentacles kind of writhe and squirm around, and then the whole thing, you see the tentacles drift away, and something turns, and you see what looks like a great sort of seashell with these giant tentacles coming out of it, this almost weird nau like Nautilus ship, and it just disappears into a tiny, tiny dot and vanishes. Damn. And as it goes, the gas begins to dissipate, and the spiders and a few of the creatures begin kind of coming to. Um, and you see Jasimir is starting to move as well, and you can see Zuni and the others, and they're slowly coming to. And he's looking at Quill with all the hate in the world. Uh, but they're not, like, they're still kind of coming to. Uh, Lady Duskwillow, however, kind of comes to her senses most. She's like, oh! You saved us, my friends, my cheries. You've done it. Yep, when we got the job done, let's get out of here. And she's like, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And she kind of opens up a tiny vial and gestures, and little silvery lines from your minds begin kind of filling into the vial. Right before she does that, I'm be yeah. like, before you send us back, I want one more thing. Name it, my handsome man. It's like, for me, can you give me an access at any point bridge? between my plane and the astral plane. Of course. And she Thank kind you. of reaches up a hand, and a, the, a kind of image of a spider web with a crescent moon begins appearing, probably on your arm or like a tattoo, like on your forearm, and cool. it begins glowing. Um, and then she basically throws out three silver coins, one to each of the remaining of you. Simply tell me what you want when you get um, and make sure it happens. She stoppers the vial, and then you suddenly feel that rushing movement. You have a few moments before you all vanish uh, as you kind of look at the four of you. I really hope we get to work together again someday. You guys have been so cool. And Jasmine, I'm out <laughs> <laughs> if, you're, if you're ever in a row, it's look us up. We'll be flying around somewhere. And you feel yourself being pulled away, and then there is a sudden lurch. The worlds kind of spin around you, and you wake up in your own worlds, in your own bodies. And with that, we're going to oh. miss episode. Man, that was good. That was incredible. Thank you very much. Before we go, before we go, Erin, where can people find you? Um, I am on Twitter at ErinMEvans.com, and I keep a sporadic blog at SlushLush.com. Uh, yeah, where where can people find you? Um, you can find me at Nate wants to BTL on socials, but more importantly, uh, myself and some other cool people just launched Cantrip, our D and D fantasy inspired clothing Which line. Is awesome. And we have a booth here at PAX. We have a little bit of stuff left, so if you want to come check it out, it's in Bandland. Yeah. And you can find us, the High Rollers crew, every Sunday at 5 o'clock UK time, I think which is 9 a.m. Pacific. Something uh, like Twitch.tv forward slash High Rollers d, d or on YouTube, High Rollers d, &D. Uh, Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Thank you for watching, cool. everybody watching at home. We Thanks. hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for my players. Thank you. Woo! And thank you, Mark.